Hello and welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. This is Alon Paul, and we're here for the anomaly mission for this weekend. Um, seems like a lot of folks... Let's go ahead and just get started. We're going to go straight into it right here and get this going here. Um, seems like there's a lot of folks playing, of course, Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, really a great game. From what I've seen of the gameplay from many different players, very good very good game. It looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Yes, I'm going to get it. Am I going to stream it? No, I'm not going to stream it. My gosh, Paul, why are you not going to stream it? Well, one, there's a lot of people streaming it. There's a lot of much better people streaming it. There's a lot of people streaming it that probably shouldn't be streaming it. I'm not going to mention any specific names, but it's a fellow that I watch very regularly for No Man's Sky who has never watched any of the Harry Potter movies or read any of the books. So, everybody has an opinion, as we all know, but my gosh, if you have never done any of those, why in the world would you be playing this game if you don't understand it? Well, it's like any other game anyway, so, you know, as far as that's concerned, so the gameplay style would just be like anything, but holy mackerel, really. Anyway, here we are, we're inside the Anomaly, we're at the Nexus, we're going to check out what the... It looks like it's bloodthirsty plants yet again for 1,800 quicksilver, and you get three salvage data from it. Ooh. Let's go ahead and do this one anyway. We'll get this going. Um, that's interesting. It changed. Salvage data. Oh, there it is. The second one is just happens to be 426,000 units. No problem. We're going to go ahead and start the mission. As you can see, my multiplayer is turned off right now. All by myself. I'll turn the multiplayer on another time when we're playing, no big deal. Well, let's go ahead and get this one going and see where we end up. If I can get in my ship anyway. Off we go. This is my ship, the Blue Divide is what I call it. I found this one, in, I don't even remember what system, I've had it for a long time, but it's this lovely blue shade that you saw on there, but it's got a really cool blue trim, uh, pardon me, gold trim to it, that I don't think I've seen on another ship in this uh, shade of blue. And then the... Uh, the sails open up, they're kind of this teal color, this greenish teal color. Not quite as blue as a full teal, as you can see there, it's kind of a lighter green, almost like a... I don't know how to describe it. All I can say is it goes really good with the ship. Can't see it right here with the green aurora in the background, but it is what it is. Alright, so we're in the... Ejirai system. Where are we going? Looking for the plant. The plant is this way. Over here. Okay, what is this planet? Toxic Anomaly. Oh, hopefully it's not there, but it looks like we might be. Off we go. Yep, it's on this planet. Looks like it's one of these uh, planets that are going to be really heavily shaded, so I think everything's going to change color when we get lower. Yeah, look at that. Kind of a golden hue to everything. Till we land. <clears throat> well, you know what? So what we're looking for is we are looking for it says to land and being in your search we always have to look for that fallen traveler looks like it's right down there it's right in front of me or should be yep there he is looks like i'm about to land my ship right on top of his gravestones sorry didn't mean to be so disrespectful and we appear on our ship on a rock next to it i love that all right Let's see if I can even access it, because I think I'm parked a little too close. Oh yeah, we're good. We're good. Snagged around the ankles, piercing thorns, completely unaware. We've reduced the numbers, but he died. The fallen traveler's log seems to mention a floral infestation, but holds no further clues. I will need to scout the look to locate the hazardous floor. So, you all seen me do this one before, I'm sure, in previous videos. Um, there is some hazardous flora there. So we just, I don't want to use a uh, weapon at this point, like a pulse spitter. But let's get back around to that mining beam. Oh, I didn't realize it needed a charge. There we go. And we'll take it out. Gone. So that's one down, 11 to go. Or 10 to go, anyway. So it wants us to get 10 more of them. And there's a trick to it. Either you can look for those, and obviously if you use your scanner, it's going to tell you where there might be some. And there happens to be one pretty close by right there. Uh, so we'll go ahead and take that one, too. But if you can find yourself a cave, you'll be in luck. Especially a halfway decent-sized cave. Alright, he's gone. Any caves? Any caves? Any caves? I heard something. Yep. Get, take him out, too. Alright. 
do 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 all right not seeing much out in this what direction so again I love, I love the hogwarts idea uh, it's great it looks like a game i'm gonna go ahead and grab and 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 here very very soon maybe not this evening but maybe tomorrow um and i'll be goofing off with it in my free time ha 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 dad family of four free time yeah you know how that goes well maybe you don't some of you do some of us don't looks like we got sack what are these uh yeah sack venom okay so i was hoping to find a cave so best way to find a cave is if you go back to your regular scanning is look for things that are underground. Uh, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Not damaged machinery. We're looking for something that might be underground. Uh, not seeing a whole heck of a lot around here. So while we're looking around... Because as you get a little further out, you're going to find that the vegetation will populate. See? And then you're going to find something that's in range. So this may, we have to, may have to do this the old-fashioned way. I don't need any more carbon, thanks. Got thousands on me. Oh, wait. I think we might have found ourselves a cave. Uh, yeah, there's a cave. So, caves, what do they have? They have those stupid little things that spew out poisonous gases, right? Well, can't get in that one. You know what to do, right? Let's make the hole a little bigger. See, there's a couple right there. Back around to the mining beam, right there. And that's what you do. Just aim for these guys. They're all hazardous fauna on the uh, floor, and they all come in groups. So there's three more right off the bat. Just take a look around. Here we go. I only need four more. One, two, three, and four. And we'll just call it done. See? That's how you get it done, folks. Real simple. Probably in one of my shortest videos in a while. Uh, except I gotta find where we parked the car. Dude, where's my car? There we go. Over there. All right. So there you have it. And it looks like it's a pretty decent planet, too, you know. Um, there doesn't seem to be any hazardous conditions here. Yeah, cut that out. Uh, let's see. Weather, echoes of acid, ordinary, low, abundant, enforcing. Not, not, it doesn't seem to be too bad. So I guess if a storm kicks in, it'll be a toxic storm. But otherwise, the planet seems to be pretty cool. 77.6 degrees Fahrenheit. That seems to be pretty good. I have no idea what that is. Celsius, I cannot, I can never remember the calculations in my brain. Not going to really worry about it right now. There we go. So our next item that we have to do is to go ahead and scan for where we drop it off. Where are we going? Uh, nope, it actually just says to return to the Nexus to receive your rewards. So this looks like one of the simplest ones I've had to do in a while. Let's get out of the atmosphere real quick. There we go. There we go. All right, back to the space anomaly. So, less than 10 minutes, right? Not bad. See what I mean about the sails, though? They got this kind of off greenish. It's really, really, really light green. Wouldn't call it teal, really. Kind of a sea foam, I guess. I have no idea. I'm a guy. It's a green, okay? Give me a break. Blue, green, red. That's what we go with. There we go. Now, just a quick update in regards to myself, too. Uh, finally, as you can hear, my voice is sounding a little better. Uh, finally, over the stupid illness. Uh, a couple of my uh, videos that are coming out for the regular playthrough, since I have them scheduled to come out once a week, and I've got them scheduled a few weeks out, there's going to be a couple of ones that are going to come out in the near future that are going to sound rougher and rougher. So, just a heads up. Um, in regards to myself and this uh, mission, let's go ahead and complete the mission, first of all. And we complete it. There we go. 1,800 more Quicksilver back in the coffers here. And some salvage data. So, like I said, for as far as updates are concerned, um, I'm going to be... 
I don't, I'm not going to do a whole heck of a lot of videos. I know I've done a lot in the past because I had a lot of ideas that came up. Uh, we are going to stick to doing the anomaly mission every, every weekend. We'll try to stick to that unless something comes up. Uh, there's always going to be, I'm going to try to get a short put in as well as a short video to relate to that short that I put out. Um, there'll be one regular playthrough a week. Uh, try to get the Minecraft family. Now, you may have noticed I didn't put on any Minecraft videos last weekend. Um, we had some things that came up that just did not allow for all of us to get together at all. So we kind of skipped it that weekend. But if you stick around either tonight or tomorrow, you're going to see a video come out from us. And the reason I mentioned the Minecraft one, a lot of you are not into it. Uh, going back about 10 years or so, 10, 11, 12 years or so, uh, a fella did a Minecraft series by the name of Dads Are Funny. And he always, and on his server, he'd do something called Dave Must Die. Dave was the main of them the main guy that ran the, ran the stuff, him and his family. Dave must die, and we'd all have to find him and take him out. Um, we're going to do that tonight because of the way Minecraft is these days. You can actually set boundaries in the world and things like that. So I've got a boundary set up in a new Minecraft world of about 3,000 blocks. Uh, it's, you know, sky to, sky to all the way down to bedrock. Um, I'm going to jump on 30 minutes in advance. You're going to watch me, you know, skitter about make myself a base, get some items, and try to defend myself. It will be in easy mode, so that we'll have some mobs that'll be popping up, and that'll allow us to get more items, if you will. Uh, but it will also be limited, so as soon as, as soon as the 30 minutes are up, you're going to see the timer. They're going to start logging in, the kids, that is, and they're going to try to find Dad and take him out. So it's going to be a fun video. I don't expect it to last long, <laughs> but of course I will be fighting back. Anyway... We hope you have fun on that. Um, as far as any other videos in the weekend, every now and then I might put out an extra video on a weekend just in case something tickles my fancy and I feel like doing it. Don't expect much. But when the expedition comes out, I do plan on, usually the expedition comes out on a Thursday, I do plan on taking time off of work on a Friday and actually doing an actual video presentation uh, of the expedition. And I'm not going to play it first. I'm going to jump right into the expedition. We're going to go in kind of bare bones without no idea what we're getting ourselves into and we'll have to figure things out as we go. It ought to be pretty funny. That usually results in all kinds of, of mayhem uh, in regards to that. So I hope you enjoy that. Um, I'm still sticking to next week. It's been really quiet on the Twitter front with Sean Murray. I haven't seen much from him. Um, he still posts some wonderful, wonderful pictures. I don't know if they're artist representations or if they're actual shots from in-game. Now for all I know it could just be with an advanced video card that he's taking these shots from. It could be VR. He's demonstrating the VR mode and what it's going to look like in VR. Uh, but the detail in these pictures is quite incredible. So I wonder if it's mostly just going to be an update to the game that's going to increase the graphic output and what everything looks like. Um, which would be kind of nice. I think that would be really, really neat. Maybe everything's going to be upgraded. Maybe we'll be adding more animals, more plants, more fauna, more flora, the whole nine yards. Um, it's hard to say. There may be also uh, some other neat update, but usually with every update, well, big update like that, they usually do an expedition. So I'm looking forward to that. I still say next Thursday is probably going to be the day they're doing it, in which case I will likely take off Friday from work and I'll just do a a live stream. I'll most likely do a live stream of it. I may not show myself on the screen at that point, but we'll do it live and we'll talk just like I am right now. And we'll get the comments going and everything like that, so feel free to join me. With everybody playing Hogwarts right now, um, it's kind of making things light on the No Man's Sky front for us folks like myself that are still producing videos for No Man's Sky. So, hey, if there's a lot of people out there who don't feel like doing the Hogwarts thing, I get it. Um, I understand. I'm massively into it. I've read all the books many times over. I've seen many of the movies many times over. I've always been a Lord of the Rings fan. I'd love to do Lord of the Rings online as well, but not something I'm going to be doing here. This is No Man's Sky. This is all space adventure. Will I introduce other games in the future? Probably. Um, there's other space-based games that I may be pulling in that I'm really interested in. I've got them in my wish list. Uh, Star Citizen, of course, possibly being one I might get into. Um, uh, there's a couple others. It's not really important to mention their names right now. But I've also been interested in a couple other games. Of course, I've always played Stardew Valley with my kids, and I might pull in Stardew Valley as a little side thing, side project, just like I did Minecraft. But really, 
One big game I'm looking forward to, which is more adventure, less space, of course, no space at all. It's a game called Palia, P-A-L-I-A. If you haven't looked it up, check it out. It's mostly, if they say it's non-combat, but there is some combat involved, but very, very little. It's a more relaxed gameplay. Um, it's world building. It's, you know, joining a village. It's building your own home, uh, furnishing it, uh, traveling, doing quests, uh, fishing, anything you can think of that would be a very relaxing way of playing. And it, it seems to be a pretty good game. They have It's in alpha testing right now. Uh, I haven't been invited to join up with it myself yet, though I've submitted stuff about it. Um, I'm looking forward to the game big time, and I would like to get into that. And hopefully if they accept my... Uh, uh, my resume, if you will, I've put in there that I am a content creator and I would love to highlight their game big time. Uh, maybe you'll see it on here. I don't know. But we're not going to give up on the No Man's Sky front. Doesn't mean I'm going to stop producing videos. But I'm scaling back just a little bit. So we do one quick video on the Anomaly. There'll be a, a regular play through the week and probably one other video on the weekends to show... You know some more No Man's Sky content, and certain things may come up. I may come up across something that says, "Hey, uh, somebody figured out something, and I'm figuring it out. Let's go ahead and do a video on it real quick." Uh, I'm still looking for that S-Class multi-tool in my own system. Speaking of which, I think I want to head back to my own system real quick, so I'm going to do that while we're talking. Um, so again, while you may have enjoyed the anomaly mission, I hope you've enjoyed some of the other content I've produced on my channel. If you haven't subscribed, Please feel free. I've got about, I don't know, 80, 85 videos or so in there right now um, in regards to No Man's Sky and other things. So feel free to check things out as far as that's concerned. I really would appreciate your subscriptions. Again, I'm not monetized. I don't expect people to start throwing money at me or anything like that. One of these days, Daddy's going to have to buy a new computer. Uh, Dad, and I don't buy base computers. I don't go out and get uh, an Acer or anything like that. I get a bare bones system. I've actually got a really awesome case downstairs uh, in my garage. It's waiting to be built up. I build everything out myself. So, been doing it for many, many years. Always build my own rigs. So, this rig is one of them. I always make sure I do all the research, make sure everything's the right thing to do. So, anyway, back on my, on my, uh, my own starship here. So, anywho, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I hope you've enjoyed everything in regards to the content. I know I've been yapping for a little bit, but I wanted to make sure you all knew where I stood on all the things that have been coming out lately. Uh, so look forward to, and I'm still saying, the expedition's going to start next week. He may delay it a week because of the Hogwarts release. Maybe he'll go an extra week once people start to wind down on that a little bit. We'll see what happens. Anywho, that's all I have for you all today. I hope you enjoyed this video. And like I said, hit that subscribe button. It's popped up on your screen now. And check out some of the videos on my channel. If you have any questions or comments, leave them. I always respond to everybody who has a question. And I try to help everybody out when they try to get things done. Uh, I am Eastern Time in the United States, so kind of keep that in mind. If you're in Australia or you're in another time zone, uh, if you're contacting me at 2 o'clock in the morning my time, there's a pretty good chance I won't be getting back to you until the morning my time. So uh, don't text in my sleep, at least as far as I am aware. I ought to check that out. That could be kind of scary. Anyway, you all have a great evening, and I hope to see you again in the next video. In fact, I always say in most of the ends of all my videos, never criticize kindness, always be kind to others, and uh, always be truthful in all things. You'll go far in life that way, but especially be truthful to yourself, because that's where it starts. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care.